Welcome to Digital Dental Technology Solution. In this video, I will show you how you can sculpt and trim on the protected surface in the three shaped dental designer, especially when you are designing gingiva. And uh, you will find some kind of protective surface or artifacts that you cannot remove with the sculpt tool so I will show you a way how you can trim and sculpt and make smooth your surface and these protected areas how you can sculpt them these areas how you can trim them you can make them smooth with very easy way so just uh, have a look so I'm going to use some kind of attachment to sculpt this area so go to the attachments In the attachment you have the parametric shapes in the attachment you have to go to the parametric shapes in the parametric shape second option there is a cylinder cylinder hole and the pin to degree and you have to select cylinder hole select the cylinder hole door and in the orientation you can select what you want i'm going to use a view direction so you can select according to your work now I will show you how you can use this cylinder hole attachment to sculpt the protected surface. These small artifacts you can see making them smooth. So just have a look. So I'm going to apply putting this attachment on the area I want to get rid. It is very easy to just place it on the area and then you can make it the best thing of uh, this attachment you can make you can change the width and the length as you want with other attachment you have uh, like fixed uh, length but with, with this one you can change the length and the width so applying the, this attachment you can see it the artifacts with the small protector has gone then you can just uh, smooth it with the smooth tool and then step by step you can use it on the other and place it perfectly here you go so you can make it smooth so and this area like the big area i'm going to show you how you can going to sculpt this area As I told you with this attachment you can change the width and the length as you want so according to the area you can place it you can change the width of the attachment and uh, you have to place it the area where you want to cut and you just apply it and you know you can see the extra surface has gone and you can see the area you want to be free from the gingiva then you can just smooth it so like we're doing with this attachment which area you want to sculpt you can just put the attachment change the width 
and the length and then you can just uh, cut that area so if you are designing gingiva in the in this phase gingival phase you can cut the this extra surface because after the you can also cut this one after the milling but it's better if uh, we cut the surfaces before in the designing phase it will be easy and it give us like more accurate design after the milling so after the cutting you have can just smooth it so step by step or using this tool you can just uh, get rid of the area you want to be skull so again you have to use the slender hole and uh, you can do as i told you you can change the length you can change the length you can change his width so step by step this is the very easy way you can do it step by step and so after sculpt get rid of that protected area you can just smooth it and if you find this small tiny area you want to get it is it so this was the simple way to get rid of the protected areas you can scale up and you can make it smooth as you want so don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for the amazing updates coming soon and have a good day